Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted as much anymore, but I will be doing a video explaining why and what situations we were going through with our house and a uh, sewer flood and all these other things that were going on in our house on um, Fort Hood. Today, I'm actually going to be reviewing the new snack crate that I just got. I've gotten a few more since I've been gone, but I haven't done any videos on them. And I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. Uh, when I open the box, you guys know it comes with a little expiration explanation and a little booklet on the country you've got. And this one is going to be on Greece this time which I'm excited about. Fun fact, that's my dream place to go. So, inside the box, you'll see the packaging like this. Okay, so for the first snack, it's mini pick crackers, sour cream and onion flavor. I'm starving right now, so. I'm going at it. Oh, these are good. Mmm. These are really good. These are really good. Mm -hmm. I want to keep eating them. But I'm going to move on to the next. So far, those are amazing. They taste delicious. Next one is mini breadsticks with basil pesto. Let's see. That's how they look. Oh my goodness. Mm. All of these are really good. Well, I've only tasted two so far in this box, but they're really good. Okay, so next, jumbo chips. So, everything else on here besides jumbo chips is in Greek. So, I don't know what it says, but they're clearly potato chips. I do see that it says oregano, so that I can read. drop some. So just like a regular potato chip. These are good. I mean, they taste like any ordinary potato chip with some kind of seasoning on it. I mean, you don't really taste the oregano, or I guess you kind of do, but it's not strong. It just tastes like a, any regular potato chip. They're good. So far, my favorites are the mini pick crackers, the sour cream and onion. So, next, we'll go to these. By the same brand as the crackers, the sour cream and onion ones. So these are little pretzel sticks with sesame seeds, at least from what it looks on it. Opening it, and by the way, if there's a lot of noise, I'm outside. And there's my, um, the AC unit thingy. It's making a lot of noise right now. So this is what they look like. They're pretty good. Tastes like any ordinary pretzel stick. They're pretty good though. Okay. So now we got some cookies. It don't really know what kind of cookies. I'm going to have to look in the book. Because in the book we get information about the snacks. And also fun facts about Greece. So I'll go over this towards the end. These cookies look good though. Okay, so they look like this. I'm just going to take the one that broke and eat it. Eat it. I can't speak. Mmm. 
They remind me of these cookies I ate as a kid in Puerto Rico. Um, the Maria cookies. That's what it reminds me of. They taste a lot like it. They don't look the same, but they taste. The taste is very similar. Okay, so next is this right here. It looks like a white chocolate. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I'm going to go over the booklet towards the end. Okay, maybe this is not white chocolate. I don't know what this is exactly. Mmm. Tastes kind of peanut buttery. I don't know, the texture's different, but it tastes really, really good. Mmm. What? I can definitely eat that whole thing. Oh my goodness. That is good. Oh, that is really good. See, the problem about me getting these boxes is I end up wanting these snacks on a daily basis, and I can't. Plus, we're quarantined. So, even if I wanted to go shopping and look for these things, where am I going to do it? So, next. Oh, excuse my hands. They're full of the last one. This looks like it's a chocolate. We'll see once I open it. If you see all the little crumbs all over me, that's from that little pastry. Okay, yes, this is chocolate. It looks like dark chocolate. Definitely dark chocolate, not too strong. It's really good. If you're not a fan of dark chocolate, this one's pretty good. It doesn't, it's not overpowering. It tastes pretty decent. I like it. Oh, I'm excited to try this one already. So, this is a soft nougat, apple, peanuts, and cinnamon. Again, sorry about the wind and the noise that's going on. Okay, this is what it looks like when you just like cut a piece of it. I'm typically not a fan of nougat, but I actually like this. This is really good. It's not too sweet. That's a yes in my book. So this is a Derby Caramel. Oh, and I forgot to say about this one. The hints of apple don't come till later. But you can taste the cinnamon. It almost tastes like, well, obviously apple cinnamon, but not super strong and overpowering to where you won't like it. It's really good. So here's the Derby Caramel. So it just looks like a, like a crunch kind of, but with a filling with caramel and some nougat. I'm going to take a small bite. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if this is nougat. I don't know what the other filling in here is, but it's good. I thought it was nougat. It's not. If I'm saying nougat wrong, don't make fun of me. I don't know. I always say things wrong. Mmm, this is really, really good. Tastes of caramel. Tastes way better than crunch. I wasn't comparing it, just saying it was kind of like a crunch. Really good. <clears throat> so the next thing here, I already know is probably going to be my favorite because anything hazelnut is my absolute favorite. 
it's another chocolate bar but with wafers and um obvious hazelnut Oh yeah, this one I'm definitely not sharing. This is mine, so far favorite. Mm. I absolutely love anything with hazelnut. Mm. So next item is like a chocolate filled croissant. Can't open this, so much air in it. Oh smells really good so this is how it looks and yeah chocolate filled my hair is everywhere mm. it's really good all of these snacks are so good oh my god this is probably one of the best boxes i've gotten i don't know if it's just that greek is greek greek is my favorite food Greek food is my favorite food. I can't speak. See? That's how good this food is. These snacks. But I don't know if it's because Greece is my dream vacation, dream place to go. And also Greek food is my favorite food. Well, maybe that's why I'm enjoying these so much. But there's always foods from different countries that maybe you won't like. Or even from where you're from. But... So far, everything in this box is amazing. And the last thing are some little cookies. Uh, they're strawberry cream filled cookies. So they just come like this in a little pack. Okay, so I kind of broke this one by accident. But look, strawberry filled. Hmm. These are really good. Not my favorite thing, but they're good. They're really good. I can actually, I'll snack on these. And they're really good. Everything. And I keep repeating everything in this box is probably the best box I've had of snacks. And so far, uh, which one's my favorite? So far, this one's my favorite. The one with the hazelnut and wafers. Of course. Then it's these two. I really can't choose between these two. This is the one with the basil and pesto. And this is the one with sour cream and onion. And also, I think I'd have to say... Then I like all of them. But next, I can't choose between these two. The croissant and this little... I don't know what this is. I really don't. But it tastes really good. And then from there, I think all the other snacks were about the same for me. Same in taste. Uh, yeah, I really, I enjoyed everything in this box. Let's see. So, here's the little booklet with the facts and some little fun facts about Greece. And also, okay, about the snacks. So, this one right here that I was talking about, it's this... Halva, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, has been produced the same way for over 80 years. Enjoy the sweet vanilla flavor in this classic and tasty treat. Doesn't say much about it, but it's clearly something that is very traditional over there if they've been making it the same for over 80 years. It, I do taste the vanilla, but I also have like that, I don't know if it's just me, it kind of tastes like peanut butter. Not in a bad way, it tastes really, really good. Okay, so I'm pretty sure with all the other snacks, I got what they were correctly. I mean, most of them had something in English. It was really only the halva, which, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing correctly. And then the other one was the derby caramel. I knew there was caramel and like kind of like a crunch um, type chocolate, but I wasn't exactly sure what the filling was in the middle besides the caramel. And it says here that it's a rich coconut filling in the core. So, this one was really good, too. Overall, they were all really good. These were all the snacks I received. 
and here's some snacks that you can get in the premium as well they have three different subscriptions i believe it is so they have like a smaller box and then they have like a medium sized box that brings more snacks and then they have the so it's the mini the original and the premium there we go so in the original you get what's in the mini and what's in uh, and some extra snacks for the original so you get a little bit of both so that's all for this snack crate i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i will be posting more content soon thank you so much